good morning and welcome to another video. This video I'm super excited about because I'm going to show you a day in my life here living in the Philippines in this beautiful place. It is currently 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the morning, which is why you can hear all of the roosters like waking up at this time, um, but they've been going at it for a while. I actually woke up at half past four today, which is honestly a luxury for me because I start work at five because I work um, for a company in the US, so I work different hours. So I work at, I start work at five. Um, so I did some work already today and I have a meeting in about half an hour, in half an hour. So I'm just making myself a cup of tea um, and then I will go head out on over inside. It's actually warm, um, cool enough outside at the moment to work outside. So sometimes I do work outside in the morning. So a lot of the time I do my work on that table there but um, I do have to make sure I have good internet connection which is why I'm going back inside yeah so the rest of the week I have to wake up at 2 30 in the morning which is not going to be as fun which is why I decided to film today instead of tomorrow or the day after um, at least I'm kind of more awake at this time in the morning or at least um, this soon in the morning I guess uh, but yeah tomorrow I'll be waking up at 2 30 for a three o'clock meeting and the day after two I think the day after I have a 3.30 meeting. So yeah, it's gonna be a tough rest of the week, but um, today we're chilling. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go head over to my meeting and drink my tea. This is where I have all my meetings from. A lot of the time I will flip this table because this is a much nicer background. So I have this as my background for, for Zoom calls and things. Um, but yeah, I've got everything set up. I've got a fly killer because I keep getting bitten by mosquitoes. And then I keep my Katinko stick because if I have a mosquito bite, I get super distracted and this like saves me. Um, I have my notebook ready, my tea, my laptop, some water. And yeah, this is just where I set up shop most of the time. And I'm usually working here until from five until two. Working from five has become a kind of luxury because tomorrow, the day after, and the day after that, I have meetings that start at 3 a.m. or at 3.30. So I will be sleeping around 7 p.m., which is uh, kind of difficult. So I don't usually get much sleep on those days. So um, anyway, I gotta go back to work. I have a meeting in now like 20 minutes. Um, so I gotta prepare for that a bit, but I will loop you in later on in the day. Sorry about the construction outside. There is uh, a little bit of noise because there's still some construction going on here. The place is still not completely done, but this is where I'm staying at the moment. And I just finished, it is 9 a.m. So this is usually when I have breakfast, eight or 9 a.m. is usually when I have breakfast, but the time people are awake, so I don't have to have breakfast on my own. But I finished my meeting, it was, an hour and a half, a little over an hour and a half. So it was a little longer than usual. Normally meetings are either half an hour, an hour. Um, so this is kind of a long one, but it was super productive and um, yeah, really great. We just had a new um, person start on the team. So I'm uh, getting him up to date with everything that I've been doing and we're working on brainstorming some things. So it's been really, really good. I work, a, I should probably mention that, I work for this really, really, really cool climate company called Joro and I've been working with them for just over two months now. And it's super, super cool because basically if you are available in the US or Canada is where it's available at the moment, download the app. It is so cool. It's called Joro, J-O-R-O. -O. And basically the app lets you connect your card, whatever card you use for spending um, to the app. And it tells you all of the carbon emissions associated with each purchase, which is super, super cool. And then it lets you offset all of the emissions that are associated with your spending by um, offsetting with various offset partners that Joro partners with, for example, um, planting trees or um, bio oil is another one, um, just ways to offset your carbon emissions, which is great. And so I work for that company, I do the digital marketing. So yeah, we've been, we've got a new guy on board at the moment and that was what the meeting was about, just like getting up to speed with everything. But that's a lot of talking. I'll take you um, to the dirty kitchen, which is where we always have our breakfast. Um, the reason we have a dirty kitchen and a clean kitchen is because in the Philippines, um, it's easy to attract a lot of uh, insects and stuff if you leave food out. So um, we have the dirty kitchen outside and we eat outside and it's just, it's lovely to eat outside as opposed to being inside all the time. Okay, excuse the noise, but let's have a look and see what is in here. Oh my God, that's a lot. <laughs> this is champorado, which is, uh, well, it's chocolate, but it's a breakfast dish and it's chocolate. I don't eat chocolate, but um, yeah. It's a lot.
ko oh, oh is burnt. Okay, so the reason for the construction at the moment, not really construction, but just the noise, is because we created these um, drawers. Wait, I'll turn the camera around. We created our own kitchen cabinet. You can see the inside of this one, and most of them still have these dividers for um, the Coke bottles that used to be in here. So this is actually from my grandma's shop like 50 years ago, which was just stored. And you can't actually give these back for recycling anymore because this brand is like... They don't sell this anymore. So what we did is we're turning them all into drawers so we can store things like cutlery. Done with breakfast. As you can hear, the construction is still ongoing. That's gonna be an issue for the next couple of hours, I think. So I'll avoid vlogging for the next few hours also because I have to get back to work. Um, everyone else like is off line at the moment not necessarily asleep but offline on my colleagues which is why i have to get up really early to have the same like hours overlapping with them but now it's um 9 30 ish and um usually people are not online at this time anymore after 10 a.m people are usually like um out of hours so i usually spend the rest of the day working on my own on whatever i need to work on no more meetings usually after this point um meetings are normally either 3 a.m or 5 a.m or late a little later on in the day but at this point i will be working on um some things on my own um which is good it means i get some heads down time without distractions um the dog the second dog sophie she has a little bit of a temperature and her leg is, I don't know, it looks like she's in pain. So we're gonna take her to the vet later on today after I finish my work. So I'll finish my work, take the dog to the vet, make dinner, um, and bring you through the rest of the day. <laughs> you look so sad. It's really funny because everyone here has like really expensive dogs and this one cost us like $20 and the other one was a free gift from a neighbor and the other one just like wandered onto our property one day so they're really just street dogs um yeah so we're the only ones with street dogs here but they get taken care of at least <laughs> much in here everything i've been procrastinating making this dish so things are going a little bit wilted um but they're still okay so i'll have to make that today and not put it off any longer um so this is the i guess the clean kitchen um, I'll step back a little bit and you can see my mess. As I explained earlier, we have a clean kitchen and a dirty kitchen. And the reason is cooking outside in the dirty kitchen is a lot easier to keep. Well, it's a lot easier to keep um, insects and animals away if you're doing it outside. There's a few leave food lying around, so we avoid cooking inside the dirty kitchen if we can. We don't actually have a hob or anything at the moment or an oven yet. Um, so all the cooking gets done outside. Um, so I'm just gonna bring all of my ingredients outside and then start cooking out there. We were trying to figure out how we were actually gonna steam the tofu without any kind of device for steaming. We were thinking of using this and like using this giant, uh, what do you call this mom, pan? Is it even a pan? But we realized that we have loads of banana leaves here. So we're gonna use the banana leaves to steam the tofu. I've never done that before. So this will be pretty exciting. Thank you for... I realized I don't have two of the ingredients I need, which is marin and sesame oil. So we're gonna have a look in the supermarket, see if we can find, <laughs> see if we can find uh, any of those. But I'm not pushing my luck. I don't think so. I think we're gonna have to do without them. So they had no um, oh, marin or any sesame oil. So we're gonna have to make do with whatever ingredients we have and hope it still tastes good.
It's a new day. I'm wearing a new outfit. I, I got so tired after making dinner last night, also because I had to go to bed really early because I had a 3 a.m. meeting this morning. So, hello, Sophie. Um, so I had to go to sleep around 7-ish. Um, so yeah, I didn't have much time to, to video after, after making dinner and having dinner and everything. Um, so I'm going to continue on to this day. We are going to get Turon and um, Halo Halo from the stand just uh, across the road. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's so good. It's so good and it's so nice to have that like nearby. So a lot of the time, well, actually not that often, probably like once every couple of weeks, we will um, treat ourselves to a cup of Halo Halo or Turon, which is deep fried banana um, for those of you who don't know. So I will bring you along with me and show you what that looks like.